Good afternoon, Year 2, and welcome to our English lesson. Uh, this week we've been looking at flowers and plants, and as you can see, Mr Knight's been really busy in his garden, making sure it all looks beautiful and the flowers are growing, and he's doing lots and lots of weeding. We're going to be looking at one flower in particular today, and it's one flower that tends to grow in Mr Knight's garden quite a bit, and he gets a bit annoyed about it. You might recognise it. It's this one here. It's called a dandelion. You might recognise it because of its bright yellow petals, um, and as it begins to die, these petals come off, and the seeds start to come grow through. And you've probably had a go at blowing these, say, telling the time, <sighs> And you can see the seas spreading far and wide as the wind takes them all over the place. And then what happens is that that seed lands somewhere else, gets buried into the ground and a new dandelion shoot grows. Well, over the next couple of days, we're going to be planning a story and writing a story about the seeds of a dandelion and the adventures it has to get to its new home. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, and welcome to the first day, our planning day, of our story, The Dandelion's Journey. All you're going to need for this is either six small square pieces of paper cut out, or you can get one large sheet of paper and split it and draw six squares in there. I've got uh, six squares drawn out so that you can see it easily on the board. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plan from the beginning to the end of our story, just using pictures. We're not going to be doing any writing today, we're just going to be doing pictures so you get a really good idea of the sequence of your story. If you remember, I spoke to you about the dandelion and how once the dandelion has died, the seeds come out and then all they need is wind to blow them and they spread out and go to different other areas of the garden or different places, they land and then they grow. So our story is about that journey that one tiny little dandelion seed takes and where it ends up. I've already done mine here, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to run through the story with you and give you ideas of things that you could do in your story. So my story starts in a garden and it's a little boy and he finds the dandelion plant and he picks it up, gives it a good blow and all the dandelion seeds fly off into different directions. Now, you could have a different character. It could be a different person. It could even be you in the story. It could be an animal. It could be someone kicking a football and all the seeds get spread. It's your idea. It's your choice. So you're going to put your first one is your character and how the seeds get spread around. The next part is the first bit of the journey. And for my one, the dandelion seed lands on top of a fence and gets caught. But this is a bit of a problem because it's never going to grow on a fence. And the poor seed thinks it's stuck there forever. But amazingly, a huge gust of wind comes and blows it over into the next garden. So I want you to think about what kind of problem or where will it first land and how does it get out of that problem or difficulty? Where does it go on from there? The next part of my story, it goes into the next door neighbour's garden and starts to float down towards the pond. And as you know, if it lands in the pond, it will sink to the bottom of the pond and will never grow. So it's a bit of a disaster again. But just as it lands right down here, a frog thinks that it's a fly, sticks out its long tongue and flicks it over into the next scene or into the next part of the story. And you'll see that bit in a moment. But here you could have all different kinds of animals or different ways. It could be a butterfly flaps its wings and sends it flying somewhere else. It could be going to land in a cup of tea and it gets rescued by someone flapping their hands. So it's up to you how that one moves. Then I thought maybe it would land onto the back of an animal because an animal, like a cat or a squirrel or maybe a dog, they move around quite a lot so they'd be able to take it somewhere different. So I've got it landing on the back of a cat. Now I've drawn my dandelion seeds quite big just so that you can see it. Obviously they're very, very, very tiny so the cat wouldn't normally feel it. So here we go. 
we've got my cat, and then my cat likes to have a good old wander and move around. So the next part of my story is that it goes outside and it's going to cross the road. Now, this road is quite busy, and as it crosses the road, a car comes along. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but when a car comes past, sometimes and they're going really fast, you get a sudden gust of wind and it all blows your hair everywhere and your coat and your scarves. So I was thinking that could happen to the dandelion seed. As the car rushes past, you get a big gust of wind and it comes off of the cat's fur and goes flying somewhere different. And then my final square, my number six square, is where your dandelion seed is going to end up and where eventually it's going to grow. So here, I was thinking I want a happy ending, so I'm going to have it landing in the park, but you could have it landing in a field or a meadow. It could even be in the middle of the high street or in the road or even back in the garden that it started at. It's up to you, your choice, where your dandelion seed ends up. And then I've just drawn it here about to land on the grass. So the idea is, is that this plan here, you can then use for when you do your writing tomorrow. But you might sort of start to do your plan. You think, oh, I might like to change it around a little bit. So maybe it's, uh, it lands by the pond first and then the frog flicks it and sends it onto the fence. You can change it around till you work out which is the best one for you. When you've finally finished, keep that plan nice and safe somewhere because you're going to need it for the writing tomorrow. So now it's your turn. You're going to go and do your plan, maybe chat with your adult about what's going to happen. They might have some good ideas as well. And then you can just draw out your plan ready for your writing tomorrow. Just remember, all you've got to do is pictures and have a plan from where it starts all the way to where it ends. Have fun and I'll see you tomorrow.